Hello, my name is Billy Buck, and welcome to the second installment of Setting Up and Optimizing Reaper for U81 Use. Uh, before we go any further in this installment, I just want to mention that uh, I've been using Reaper for a while, so I've basically set it up and customized it to my own workflow. I've created my own screen sets and macros and, and set up the different various behaviors for, for the mouse, for the edit cursor, and a vast array of other things uh, to my own personal tastes um, and through a lot of it through trial and error so um, I'm going to be moving fairly rapidly through different Reaper functions and I'm not going to explain any of it so unless it's UAD1 related uh, uh, I'm just going to go blaze right through so uh, without much further ado uh, let's begin um, we're going to approach this segment uh, as if we're going to do like a remix. Um, I happen to have a uh, an add in U81 plugins to it. Uh, go ahead and down the bottom here. I got tab views. I got the Media Explorer, and I happen to have a a Nine Inch Nails remix here. So um, before we even start, we need to find out some information about this remix. So let's go ahead and we got a little text file here. Let's go ahead and, and right mouse click and open this text file from the Media Explorer and we'll find out that it's 109 BPM, 44 in the key of E flat. That's all we really need to know. So let's go ahead and, and open up the project settings. And let's make sure the BPM is at 109. Make sure the time signature is 44. And let's make sure the time base is at beats, position, length, and rate. Um, audio settings, I uh, keep it at 44, 24 bit, everything else seems to be right where I want it to be. So let's close out of that. Um, one other thing I like to do too, I like to have a little lead in here. So I'm going to put my edit cursor right here, reopen project properties, and I'm going to set subtract cursor position from start time. You notice that project start time is now negative. So my zero point is where that edit cursor is at. So I want a little lead in time. That's where all my, all my media is going to be added to also. So let's go ahead and close out of that. Now we go back to the uh, media bin here. Uh, we'll go ahead and, and um, left mouse click, drag and drop down. So all those files are, are highlighted. And all, simply all you have to do is just right mouse click, insert into project on a new track. All the files can be added right to that uh, edit cursor. And that's my zero point. Okay, and I got some lead in right here. Um, so there we go, all the files right there. I'm gonna go down the bottom track, and then I'm gonna go ahead and control T and add a, a number of other uh, tracks here. I wanna make these buses. So I'm gonna make this drum bus. I wanna make this a guitar bus. And I'm gonna make this a reverb bus. For expediency okay so we got that all set up so we don't need the media explorer anymore so let's go to the mixer view all right as you uh, we're going to expand the mixer view because you can see it to left or right you got more channels over here so I want to see everything at one time so I've already created my own screen set so I'm going to go to my expanded screen set and there it is I've got all my tracks already uh, visible and so I can go ahead and add uh, start adding my effects real quickly and easily at this point so I'm gonna go, go ahead and do it here you got FX bin right here and you got your uh, send uh, effects bin right here so uh, you go to the top the FX bin left mouse click opens up your uh, FX browser I've already got my U81 plugin folder all of my U, uh, VST plugins already added in there so it's very simple I just go ahead and see what I want to add double click on it and it gets added into uh, onto that track. So what am I looking for? I'm looking for a channel strip. That's what I want. I'm not going to do anything to that right now. I'm just going to close that out. Just hit the escape key. Then you get uh, control left mouse click, and I'm just going to control left mouse click and copy all these this effect to all, to all these tracks. So I want to replicate uh, a Neve 88RS mixer here in the DAW world. So. And uh, I think that's the last one. Okay. And um, so we got all of our tracks here. And so basically just left mouse click and drag and drag effects from one track to another and just copy them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a uh, left click, uh, mouse click into this uh, track uh, insert bin. And I'm going to add onto that drum track uh, 33609. 
And then in this one, I'm going to add a uh, to that guitar bus 1176. And into the reverb bus. Don't want that. You can always delete a an effects by holding down the Alt key and left mouse clicking. Um, I want the plate 140. There we go. And let's put make that wet. And how about clean your how plate of shrimp? Yeah. Okay. So, and how about in the master? I'm gonna put the. Uh, yeah, just for starters here, so Fairchild, and I got a little pre personalized preset there, the Magic Mix Bus preset, and let's go ahead and put that there. Okay, so we'll start with that for right now. Um, what I do want to do, I uh, I know I'm, uh, what I'm going to want to do is 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 uh, send some tracks to these buses here. So it's quite simple. All you got to do is just left mouse click and drag from the uh, from the uh, track send bin to the uh, to whatever bus you want to go to it's all I'm going to send it simple uh, picture is worth a thousand words so watch what I do okay watch uh, here we go I got these three vocal background tracks I'm just going to go ahead left mouse click it's going to turn into a little cursor here it looks like a little rocket but it's a send icon drag it down to my plate 140 and do the same thing there it's automatically sent There we go. And then how about um, let me see guitar track. I want to send that to the guitar bus. This main guitar is to the guitar bus. And uh, this drum track to the drum bus. There it is. So I got all my sends set, set up. Basically, all you got to do is uh, use a little knob here, just left mouse click and drag left to right. You can adjust the send levels. Double click, resets it. If you hold down the shift key and left mouse click and drag, you can, you can adjust the pan level left and right. Double click, resets it. Easy. Got it all set up. So that's how you uh, set up your your effects in your sends using U81 plugins and uh, Reaper also remembers the last place you place your effects so if when it pops up you say you want to over, place it over here when you close it and reopen it again it finds its last spot which is nice so anyway that's enough for this segment um, we'll go into the third and final segment in just a moment thank you <laughs> 